Hi everyone, it's Amy with Mama Bear Blue. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I have new videos uploading. So today I've got another thrifted furniture flip for you guys. I'm gonna be using some DIY paint, some Sweet Pickens milk paint, some DIY colored waxes, as well as some JRV decoupage paper. So we have a lot going on today. Let's get started. This piece was in good shape other than some broken hardware. I removed the hardware and wiped the piece down. It looked like it had been painted a few times and the top coat of paint was definitely a white chalk paint. There was no finish on top. So I'm using my DIY paint letterpress gray to put one coat on the project. My plan is to use Sweet Pickens milk paint on this. So I want it to chip some and show down to this gray layer. I'm not worried about full coverage on this coat because this is just a base coat. I decided to use the Iron Orchid Designs molds and the Amazing Casting Resin to create some pieces that would cover the holes where the hardware was because the hardware that I plan on putting on this piece doesn't require two holes and I wanted to center them on the doors. So I thought maybe these would look cute glued on and painted over. We'll see how it turns out. So basically I'm taking the cast in resin. It comes in two parts, part A and part B. I measure out equal amounts in each cup and pour them together at the same time into a bit of a larger cup. The kit is available on my website at mamabearblue.com. It does come with the pouring cups and the resin. So once that's poured together, I gently stir. As you can see, it started out cloudy, and as I stir, it turns clear. And that's at that point where you want to go ahead and pour is where it, when it turns clear. And there are directions on the box as well. I carefully pour into the mold. If you get a little bit of overspill, that's okay. When the mold pops out, you can trim it with some scissors. I knew I had made quite a bit of resin, more than I was going to need, and I had a future project coming up for some um, Valentine's gifts, so I poured some more into the lock and key mold. The first mold I'm using there on the right is called Classic Elements. So I just pour those in and let those harden. It takes about 10 minutes, and you can see I, this is in fast forward motion, but you can see them turn white as they dry. And I kind of test it to see if it's ready to come out and turn it over and roll them out. I use tight bond quick and thick glue on the molds and go ahead and spread it around making sure it gets to the edges. And then I put it in place and use some painter's tape to lightly hold it on. It dries very quickly, but since this is on the side of the piece of furniture, I didn't want it to start to slide down, so securing it with that painter's tape works well. After about an hour, I went ahead and removed the tape and painted them in the DIY paint color letterpress gray. So now I was ready to mix up the milk paint. Milk paint comes in a powdered form and this color is called Providence. It's a really pretty teal. I used some warm water and then sprinkled in the milk paint powder and stirred it. And I just wait till it gets to about the consistency of a melted milkshake. I just used a plastic fork to do this. Um, if you want to use an Im immersion blender, you'll be able to get more of the little chunks out. If you don't want your milk paint to chip, you can definitely use some extra bond. Sweet Pickens sells it and it is available on my website as well. 
It just helps the milk paint not to chip quite as much, but I was going for a chippy look on this, so I did not add any of the extra bond. I ended up putting two coats of the Providence on this project, and with milk paint, you'll usually see when you apply your second coat, you'll start to see some of that chippiness come through. I also used my heat gun to speed up the drying just a bit and when you do that it will make your project chip just a little more. I let the milk paint dry and then I took a 220 grit sandpaper and started sanding just a bit and I started to see that chippiness that I was looking for. Here I'm applying one coat of DIY Paints Clear Wax and then I'm going to follow that up with the dark wax. I'm applying the dark wax with a brush and then I will go back in with a soft cloth and wipe back and that dark wax will stay down in the low spots and give it the aged look that I'm looking for. JRV decoupage paper is an 18 pound tissue paper and it comes in lots of different styles. You can check them out on my website at mamabearblue.com. I wanted to put the JRV decoupage paper inside of the doors as well as the bottom of the shelf inside. So I applied a coat of DIY Paints White Swan to those areas because whenever I'm using decoupage paper, I want to have a light background so that the image shows up well. So I did that, let it dry, and then I'm applying the DIY Paints Clear Liquid Patina, which is my decoupage medium. I put one coat on to the surface before I put on the paper. I cut the paper to fit, and then I applied it on top of the Clear Liquid Patina, and I smooth it out as I go very carefully. And then also, if there's some spots that look like they're not sticking, I can go back in with the liquid patina underneath and add a little bit more. Once the decoupage paper is applied, I use another coat of the liquid patina on top to seal it. You can also use some plastic wrap, which I did here and use that um, rolled up in a ball to help smooth out the wrinkles. It's totally normal to have some wrinkles in your decoupage projects. Usually the next day you'll see after it has dried that those will lay down flat. I decided to use some of the Bohemian Blue DIY paint to blend in on the sides of the bottom of the shelf inside. Uh, the paper was just slightly smaller than the area so I didn't want to be left with the white edges. So I took this Bohemian Blue, which is a very close match to the Providence Milk Paint, and I painted the sides and then just kind of blended in. I finished it up with some dark wax, just to give it a bit of age, and wiped it back. I drilled the holes for the hardware. I'm actually reusing some knobs from a prior project that I had saved. These little lion heads, I really love the look of them. Here's how it turned out. Many mountains to get some confidence. How many debates 
to earn some tailwind. The years pass, I'm still the same. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do so. That helps me to grow my channel and continue to make good content. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.